So you clicked on this video because you want to know if the rumors are true. Can you make real money playing this game? And the game I'm talking about is Heroes of Mavia. And I can tell you right off the bat, the rumors are true. And I'm going to show you exactly how it works and where this value comes from. But before we get started, I just want to say welcome to anybody who just found this channel while searching for Mavia. And an extra welcome to those who are non-crypto native people. You download the game on your phone and you want to see what all the hype is about. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. I'm going to be making a lot more content on Mavia and other Web3 games. But let's get right into it. So right now I'm sitting on 1,155 rubies. The rubies are going to be your premium in-game currency. You have gold and oil that you're going to use to level up your structures and your characters. You have the sapphire, which you can buy from the app store that can help speed up the time that it takes to build those. But Ruby is what you're really going for in this game. Now, right now, everybody is playing the free to play version and the NFT land hasn't even been integrated in, but that's fine. Most people playing this game, if you're watching this, you're probably playing as a free to play player. You can still earn some money playing this game. So as it stands right now, everybody can earn up to 100 Ruby per day. You'll earn that Ruby by destroying other bases. If you get three stars, you get 20 Ruby. If you get two stars, you get 10 Ruby. And if you fail or get one star, you don't get any Ruby. Now, even though it looks like there's nothing to do yet with this Ruby, I highly recommend getting as much as you can each and every day. And that's because the legendary items marketplace is going to be coming real soon. And that's where you're going to be able to use this Ruby and how it's going to get its value. So if you see in the bottom right, this little Ruby, if I click it, it says coming soon. Um, I believe that's going to be the entrance into this marketplace. Now, Ruby itself is not like a cryptocurrency. It's not going to be tradable itself, but how it gets its value is that you have to accumulate that Ruby and you spend it on these legendary items in the legendary marketplace that we see right here. Now, this is still coming soon, but this legendary marketplace is going to be mostly to buy skins, decorations and consumables. And as you've seen with games like Fortnite, that they get their revenue pretty much solely from selling skins in the game. There is a high demand for these. And because this is a Web3 game on the blockchain, they can limit the supply of certain items and that can be verified on the blockchain. So what I'd imagine that Mavi is going to do is they're going to put out some really rare items where it might be only a thousand of a certain item or maybe only 10,000 of a certain item. You're going to buy it with those rubies and once it's sold out, no more will ever be created. And let's say this is a really popular item. We have over 1.5 million downloads in this game and say there's only 10,000 of a certain skin. Once it's sold out, the only way you can get that particular skin is to buy it off somebody else on the secondary marketplace. So if you're one of the lucky ones that were, you know, maybe paying attention and playing the game at a certain time when an exclusive item gets listed if you obtain that item and it becomes very popular you could probably resell that on the market for real crypto real money either maybe ethereum or usdc and that's how you're going to make a profit in playing this game so this isn't going to be the straightforward earning like you know axie infinity really made popular a few years ago where you play and then you earn an actual crypto there's going to be some strategy behind what you're going to use your ruby on and how much you think that might be valued in the future now there's also going to be consumables we don't have too many detail on what the consumables are but they could be like using your ruby to buy like certain traps that you could put on your base that might only be used for one defend or maybe it can be used for you know a week of defending maybe there's a consumable that allows you to get double the gold gold and oil when you go to battle for for that day or maybe for a certain amount of battles the more valuable these legendary items are and the more scarce they are the more value is going to come to the ruby that you can accumulate so in addition to this ruby there's going to be an opportunity to get rewards in the actual mavia token now a little bit of speculation on my part but there are alliances in this game and there's already a global leaderboard and a regional leaderboard i'd have to imagine at some point they're going to say maybe top 100 alliances will be rewarded in some of the Mavia token, you know, on a monthly basis or something like that. Find yourself a good alliance to get into and you could have a chance to earn even more. The Mavia token right now has been going wild. And speaking of that Mavia token, if you hold some of that in your wallet that is connected to this game, you're going to get more perks and rewards that are exclusive to the Mavia holders. So another speculation on my part, but maybe holding a certain amount of Mavia allows you to earn more in-game Ruby, which you can then turn into legendary NFTs that you could sell off to the market if you want to make a return on this game. So if you're just getting into this game and you haven't found a creator code to use yet, if you go into the settings, there's a place to add a creator code. As you can see up here on screen, my creator code is Najafe, N-I-J-A-F-E. I'd really appreciate it if you throw that in there. But that's it. I'd like to know your thoughts on how this Ruby ecosystem is going to play out with the legendary NFTs. Do you think the Mavi team is going to do a good job at hyping up these legendary items, keeping them scarce, 
making them valuable so that everybody playing this game has a chance to actually create value and earn something from playing. So that's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe. I'm making a ton more videos like this and I'll catch you soon.